Hey there, Kate here, back for another how-to in Dubsado. So one of Dubsado's absolute coolest feature is the ability to set up recurring invoices. So those are invoices that go to your clients every month without you needing to do anything to send them. So this is great for virtual assistants or anybody that works on a retainer basis. And even better is the ability to remind clients that they need to pay. So here is how that works. Dubsado doesn't give you a super intuitive way to set up reminders for those recurring invoices prior to the invoice being due, but there is a workaround. So let's dive into how to do that. So the first thing that you need to do is set up a payment plan that sets the due date for the invoice to be a certain number of days after the invoice is applied to the, or excuse me, after the payment plan is applied to the invoice. So let's go do that first. So we're going to go to templates, payment plans, and then we're going to create a new template. So we're going to call this recurring invoice payment plan. And as you can see, I have already done this once before, so there's already one in here, but that's okay. You can choose whether or not to turn on auto pay. We're going to add the, ins the first installment. So for most auto pay, um, or excuse me, for most recurring invoice invoices, um, we're going to want 100% due all at once. So we are going to make that, we can keep it as divide equally, um, but we're going to change the due date style to relative. And we're going to want it to be probably something like seven days after payment plan applied to invoice. Now that could be three days. The big thing is that this is going to be the number of days before you want, um, before the actual due date when you want to send your reminder. So we need to have that due date set out far enough that we're able to set a reminder to happen. So um, if I want my first reminder to go seven days before the invoice is due, I'm going to set this to actually be due eight days after it is. So we've got it generating on day one, and then the next day is when our first reminder goes a week before our actual due date. And then we needed to set up our reminders. So seven days before the due date, I'm going to send the payment reminder for it being due soon. And then you can set more. So you could set one zero days before the due date to set it to send the invoice on the due date. And then, of course, if you don't have auto pay enabled or if there's an issue with auto pay, you can always set reminders for three days after the due date. All right, so now that we have this all set up, it's time to move on to the phase of actually applying this to a recurring invoice. So we're going to go to the project where you've got this. And on the invoice, we're going to go to recurring invoices. We can add a new one if we don't have it already. So I'm going to set this up that I want it to recur every one month. And I want my invoices to be paid on the 15th. But remember that I actually need this invoice to generate eight days before my due date. So I'm going to look at the calendar and say, okay, this is due on the 15th every month. That means I want it to generate eight days beforehand, which just happens to be today. So um, I'm actually going to use a different example because of that. So let's pretend I want my due date to be on April 22nd. I want it to be the 22nd of every month. So that's this date, but I want it to generate eight days before. So I'm going to set that generation date for, I'm going to set the start date for April 14th. And then I'll have it end never. I can add whatever packages I need. And then I need to apply my payment plan. So I'm going to apply the one that we just created together. And I'm going to start my recurrence. And that is all you need to do in order for those invoices to generate when you want them every single month and for your client to get reminded. However, what you will find is that if you are creating your invoice, if you're setting this up, so this is a, an issue just for the first payment, this is why I changed my due date because it just happened to be working out perfectly. So on your first invoice, if you're not creating your recurring invoice the exact right number of days before that first payment, then our payment's going to be off. So remember, I said that I wanted our payment to be due on April 22nd. 
This is showing it as due on April 15th because that is eight days from now. And so in the future, it's just going to generate on the right date and eight days in the future will be the actual due date. But for this particular one, I'm not setting it up eight days before the next due date. And so it's not generating correctly. And so for just this particular, just this first invoice, I can click edit and go in and change that payment date to be a fixed date. Now, the beautiful thing is that this is not going to change it for anything in the future. It's just going to, oops, I don't want to save it as a template. I'm just going to click save. Um, it's just going to change it so that this first due date is correct. And then for all of our invoices that generate after the first one, they will already be correct. So I hope that this was a helpful tutorial for how to set up a payment plan for recurring invoices that reminds your client of the due date prior to the due date. Um, if you need to see step-by-step -step how to do this, uh, make sure you check out the link below to go to my blog where I've got a tutorial that walks you through click by click on exactly how to do this with screenshots and written directions. It's really, really helpful. So hope you found this useful. Let me know down below. Thanks.